Got any milk? Not anymore. <laughs> Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. <laughs> no butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? No, gives me the vapors. Then, may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Mew Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Udley III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Udley is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Udley's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you will rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. I don't think I can have my cake and eat it too. I've always wanted to try that. It puts a little bounce into your day. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, as nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the mobile command center. It says Greek Cantina. You want to see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. Five 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 two two nine zero. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Hello, Spycor Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So, what do you think of Spy Corps' new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. 
Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget dispensing machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping trolley without a broken wheel. How apt. Now, pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I could certainly do with one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a normal toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I suppose that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Udderly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, eh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. All your good time hits, all the time. Pajama Sam, please report to the main office. The forecast. Cloudy and windy today with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. All your good time hits, all the time. The forecast. Cloudy and windy today with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Pajama Sam, please report to the main office. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please, stand by. Spy Fox here. Hello, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the Mobile Command button. Will do. Spy Fox out. It says, Happy Hour, 2 to 4. It says, Greek Cantina. It says, Feta Factory. Hmm, N-O-G. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that stands for Nectar of the Goats, a world-renowned purveyor of goat milk and goat byproducts. It's Drachmas, Greek money. It's a photograph of Mr. Udderly. Here's where my notes go. I use the speech bubbles to gather information. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. The laser toothbrush makes impenetrable steel doors penetrable. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Udderly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. It's a very odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Udderly. You saved me! Thank you, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. 
Routine rescue, really. Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my trousers! You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right. Just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? It all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls, reviewing grazing reports. Yes, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy business. So, when we and the kids fog made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them. Hoof and nail. Pow! 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 My whole body is a weapon. Then, suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me, then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's secret island fortress. It was just so humiliating, being bagged up like a side of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I was able to pick a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called... Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built a milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use the milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for his heinous crime. Fifth, Take over the entire dairy world! Spy Fox, someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Oh, uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. <laughs>